know, this is what I pictured it would be. The baby would come out. You have those loving photos of you and your baby in your arms, and you're beautiful and glowing as a new mom. That was my expectation. <laughs> Reality was not like that. Manas na manas ka after paglabas ni baby. Tapos, I had problems with my milk. Parang it came in parang fifth day or something. Sorry, ha, but there are these women who think they're encouraging you, but actually, it sort of pressures you some more because they'll say, hindi ah, latch ka lang ng latch. I wanna tell you, naglalatch ako na naglalatch! <laughs> Alam mo yun, pero mahirap because not everyone is gifted with abundant supply of milk. But I am very, very blessed because linaban ko talaga. Linaban ko talaga, so I was able to breastfeed my two kids a uh, little past over a year. But it wasn't an easy journey because yes, my postpartum depression, and yes, I get fat. Why? Yung sinasabi nila na, oh, breastfeeding will make you lose weight. That wasn't true for my case. Because I felt that I needed to eat more so that I'd have more milk. Because I did try it yung mga nakakalorie count na pang mga pang breastfeeding, yung mga pang tama lang. And every time I did that, wala akong milk to give. But every time, kunwari, kumain ako lang marami. Pansit, ganun, madaming carbs. Oh my gosh! Masaya kami ng baby ko. So, you know, uh, I had to sacrifice that time. But it was all super worth it because my kids are super healthy. You know, so far, I think we're doing okay. Because their dad is a Muslim, I am Catholic. And then, so they know Allah, they know that they are Muslims, but um, at the same time, nagtataka sila, bakit ako hindi? We celebrate Ramadan, we celebrate Eid, we also celebrate Christmas. So when they grow up, they can choose. It's up to them. I don't want to force, because you cannot force anyone their belief in. But what we can do is we can show them. We have a good partnership. I take care of the kids and he does what he does. Robin is a good provider for the necessities, for the essentials. But more than that, he's not for it. Yeah, so that's why kailangan masipag pa rin ako. Because yung mga everything else, like all the fancy clothes that my kids wear and all that, uh, Robin doesn't like things like that. All the excessive toys, ganyan. Every week, I send him the schedule, our schedule, ganyan. Robin is very protective. He's very, he's the healthy one. Siya yung nagpapadala ng obawal, huwag mong pakain yan, huwag mong ganito yan. Isang, we went to a party, syempre pag party, di ba may sikat na, na french fries na talagang hindi pwedeng mawala sa kada party. Pag nakikita yun ng mga anak ko, Eh, wala pa, linuluto pa yung french fries na yun. Hindi pa, yeah, yeah, I'm gonna bring it in the table. When, when it's ready, they're cooking it. So, ganyan. Balik ako sa table. Daladala ko ngayon yung, yung french fries. Tapos, sabi niya, Huwag ko daw ibigay. Sabi ko, huwag ko dito nila to. More than a year now, yes. I'm a legit live seller na talaga. Try, try lang nung una ngayon, talagang it's my thing. Yes, pero now nga not so long, I realized that it's okay to take a break, tas babalik ka na lang. Yun na yung ginagawa ko ngayon. I do it for two hours, take a break, another two hours. Ganyan. Pero dati, five hours, six hours, ganyan. Because it's something that I, I love to talk. I can talk. Diba? I can talk for hours, so I can do it. I think that what really prepared me was you know, I used to do a show in ABS-CBN called Pinoy Big Brother Uplate. I was alone. Mag-isa lang ako and kinakausap ko lang rin yung self ko and like, ano, so it started with that and then I did another show for ano na ako lang din. So I think it really prepared me for live selling. And then one time during the pandemic, I was watching these mga bading on in Japan na nagla-live sell. Sobrang enjoy ako. Tsaka grabe akong nabudol talaga. Talagang grabe talaga. Siyempre, pandemic na talaga ako. Tapos, agawang kayo. Tapos, parang may hayo. Ah, hindi ka naman kasi sabar mong happy. Oo, sabar mong happy na nakapag-mind ka. Iba yung high. So, sabi ko, oh my gosh, I wanna give people that feeling. You know? Iba yung feeling na ganun. And it was just, it's so much fun. And I really, really enjoy doing it. And, you know, I said, in one new year, I made a list of the things that I want to happen. And I said, one day, I'm going to find my thing. 
I'm going to find my thing. It was that year I said, I'm going to, what, that, that New Year's, I'm going to find my thing and I'm going to be good at it. And then I met Life Selling. And now I'm Life Seller. I am a big self care person. Don't get me wrong, okay? I believe that self-care is not selfish at all. Because for us mothers to be able to give love, we have to feel the love. And the first person who's going to love us is ourselves, okay? So, kailangan happy tayo. Yes, I really believe in self-care. So, dati, habang hinihintay ko yung kids ko sa school, nasa parking lot lang ako, naghihintay sa kanila. Ngayon, nag-level up na ako. Ito na talaga yung pinaka-madam moments ko. Pag ginagawa ko to feeling ko, madam na madam ako. Three times a week habang hinihintay ko sila. Nagtutunaw ako ng mga facts habang nag-aaral at nagiging matalino yung mga anak ko. Nagtutunaw ako ng mga facts. Once a week, habang nasa school yung mga anak ko, nagtutunaw naman sa lieg ng double chin at magkaroon ng V-shape ang aking jawline. That is what I do. I always think that akala natin pupunta tayo dun sa nakakatipid tayo, pero actually, minsan kailangan mag-splurge ka ng konti para makuha mo yung maganda talaga for your skin. Oo, talagang lahat ng, lahat ng ways para mag-self-care, ginagawa ko. And I feel good about it. I don't feel na parang sayang siya because I need it. I need it for myself. Napakababaw ng reason ko. I want to have good pictures with my kids. Gusto ko, pag nag-play to, yung mga pictures of them growing up in their wedding videos, maganda yung nanay nila. Really, sobrang shallow ko na tao, okay? Yun ang totoo. Gusto ko na may magagandang pic. Yun, katod yung picture na ginawa natin. Lalabas yun sa mga 18th birthday nila. Sa mga wedding videos nila, lalabas yan. Yan ang mga gusto ko. Nung time na, ano, nung may time, I thought this is a real story. During the pandemic, nag-compile ako ng book of all my beautiful pictures. Para sabi ko, pag namatay ako, sasabihin ng mga anak ko, maganda yung nanay nila. Alam mo yon para mapakita nila yung tingin, oh, your mother is so beautiful. And, Siya, oh, gusto ko yon okay? Ganun ako kasyalong na tao. So, that's why self-care is very important.